Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my travel to New York and a little bit of story time, some pictures and some videos and some cool stuff. So uh, I also want to thank you guys for 81 subscribers and the constant, constant comments and likes on the videos. If you want to help support this channel, don't forget to leave a like on this video. But other than that, let's get started. So my travel to New York. So if you haven't watched it already, I did a travel video and then I did a few uh, clip videos and those have been getting pretty big. So I thought I'd do a few more New York videos. And so the first day I went to New York, I went by train and that was from Chicago to New York and that took about 48 hours. And the train to New York was kind of weird. I don't know. I didn't really, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I was just like super tired or something. Uh, I still moved around during it, but it was just, there was something off about it. And uh, there weren't, going in the east, there wasn't a lot of viewing of really anything. Uh, most of it was trees and you couldn't really see anything really uh, when you looked outside. So that was kind of a bummer, but when we finally when i finally got to new york it was just me i was solo traveling so uh so once i finally got to new york uh we went to we went through penn station and you know i was pretty anxious uh the day before uh the night before actually i decided to book an airbnb and that's usually what i did airbnbs or hotel and uh usually not anything yeah uh, so I was deciding between an Airbnb and a hotel because uh, I didn't know if I wanted to uh, It just depended on if I wanted to stay in the hotel for a little bit longer and just enjoy uh, Being there, but I decided Airbnb Airbnb because I was going to be out almost all day exploring New York. So uh, I chose Airbnb So when I got there it was probably like afternoon a little bit like later afternoon and it was already raining because there were a few tropical storms so uh, there I was with uh, my suitcase and my two huge bags uh, of all my items from uh, from literally home and and as soon as I went outside it was raining and which wasn't good uh, I had all my stuff nothing really got damaged that bad because um, I was walking to my Airbnb, my Airbnb was about like 20 minutes away, uh, walking, uh, but I got lost, of course, so it took about like 45 minutes to actually find my place, but, uh, you know, I wasn't discouraged, uh, I got in, got in fine, uh, after call, calling the Airbnb guy, uh, and trying to find, find this place, the door was so small, uh, but I knew I wasn't going to stay there the whole, whole day, so, uh, what I did was I left, like, uh, I, like, stayed there for maybe, like, 30 minutes, and then I left because I knew it was uh, pretty close to sunset, and I wanted to go get something to eat and take po photos of sunset in New York. So, what I did, so, so I went out to eat, I went out to, like, some random, literally, I just walked down the street and tried to find some food, and that worked out pretty well, and... And, you know, I gobbled down my food and I went out for sunset. I, like, ran down, like, seven, seven blocks. Uh, here's this kid in New York uh, running. I mean, I guess it's not that uh, weird, but um, so I kind of I kind of felt like I was in place uh, there. But looking back at it, that I did do that because it was open. I don't know if it was open all night or until midnight, but it was pretty close to getting late. But I decided just to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow really early and yeah also also if you're seeing this my sister gave me this you know i'm a big fan of donuts um so that's that's what this this is okay 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 so the next day i woke up you know pretty early i woke up a lot earlier than i think i would have it was probably like 7 or 8 a.m and the reason for that, or maybe 6 a.m., shoot, uh, 6 a.m. because, you know, the uh, outside the window, outside the window was the street, 
and it was super loud and there were cars you know i was thinking hey it's a pandemic it's gonna be a little bit quieter but no it it was not quieter maybe it was a little bit quieter but uh i i i woke up so uh i got some food i got my uh i had a oatmeal oatmeal bag with me and i ate that for my breakfast and uh i headed out north so i i planned a little bit the previous night uh of what i was gonna do it wasn't really that good of a plan but it was the plan so it was better than nothing and you know there was so much i felt like i i had to uh, there was like so much that i was doing um in the span of a week that it was kind of crazy but i was um uploading instagram uh, photos videos uh, stories and then i was on twitter and stuff and you know it was, it was actually kind of insane what i was all doing but uh so the plan was uh for the plan for the first day so i went north on the fourth first day and i went through a couple different places i went to times square uh grand central station and uh, a few mu museums in the middle there and you know you know you know i was telling my friend like there's so many like for me I, I watched so many movies as a kid that there were just like a lot of movies that were done in new york and you would see like all these buildings all the special bu buildings and you would see all these street names and uh it kind of it was like kind of nostalgic or i don't i don't know what that's called but it just felt like it felt like kind of surreal you know when you go there the first time so i was there exploring the city uh and eventually like at noon i believe because uh, eventually at like noon i made my way to central park and you know i got i got this good uh lobster roll that thing was amazing if i, if I knew the restaurant name i would give it to you but it was just <laughs> it was pretty amazing and i ate that in central park and i was super surprised when i got to central park so when i went to central park there was already a lot of people outside you know bikers uh people walking and when i got in central park there were even more people you know there were like uh kids there were there were dogs there were pets uh people rollerblading it's absolutely insane like uh, i don't think i've ever i've always seen people in central park but they never they never really describe it like i don't know i never really looked out for like people describing central park so central park that took a few hours to actually get through and so central park actually took a few hours to get through and you know i was just i was kind of enjoying my time i was walking strolling checking out different areas there were like there was like a group of um well there were there were a bunch of groups of people singing people drawing people like there was so much going on and then they had like the monuments and the statues and people just hanging out by the water you know there were a lot of people um and then people like having their weddings and you know it it was it was insane hours in central park and then i decided to leave and go find some food but then i realized that it was actually pretty close like two hours or so until sunset and then i would have to go back to my place and uh if i didn't want to get lost uh i i mean i wasn't i wouldn't really get lost but i would be in the dark walking uh a couple miles because this was pretty pretty far from where where i was um like after central park in like midtown Man manhattan so i had to really decide which where i was gonna go for sunset and i decided to go uh east and that was gonna go towards the river there were a couple different what i usually do is i look up parks and when that happens i just like figure out where i want to go from there and so i took this so it took me like 30 minutes 30 40 minutes to actually get to this park and you know the uh the sunset actually set a little bit before that and there was some cloud coverage and uh i didn't really get sunset but okay 
so during this time as well, my phone was also dying, uh, which was not good at all. It was about to die, and so what I did is I, I didn't really know my Airbnb uh, passcode, and I didn't really know the address uh, that well, because I just screenshotted the thing and uh, put it on my phone notes, which wasn't a good idea, and I didn't have a charger with me either, uh, like a marker. I marked down on my hands um, the uh, the 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 passcode and and then after that a little bit like pretty close to where i was almost uh well let's see uh okay funny story i have this print behind me that has the uh street number so i was on 31st street and i was supposed to be down in uh, 6th street so i was super far away still and it started pouring rain and you know i was just there with my camera well I, I had my camera my laptop and a few other things in my backpack and it was pouring rain but i decided to take a few pictures because i was like uh I, I like i don't know what else to take pictures of right now and uh my phone died shortly after this photo i believe it may have died already when i took this photo but uh i was pretty lost for a good while and especially because it was dark and it was rainy uh i was kind of kind of hopeless but um after maybe like 30 minutes of walking around the area i finally find, found my place and and you know another day another day done uh did a little bit tried a little bit of a time lapse but that didn't really work out and uh i just prepared for the next day and i believe i was up kind of late that night as well uh editing videos and talking to people and that's that's what happened all right all right, day three or two, I don't know, one of the days, one of the days, the next day, I woke up even earlier than the previous day, uh, kind of uh, ate, ate some food, edited a little bit, recorded a video, and set out to my next journey. So my next journey was going south and to Brooklyn Bridge, and I wanted to get to Brooklyn Bridge and the 9-11 Memorial. Uh, so the first thing that I did is I entered a Dunkin' Donuts coffee shop. And I haven't had Dunkin' Donuts in a really long time. But um, Dunkin' Donuts was literally everywhere in New York. So, you know, I, ha I had to get a Dunkin' Donuts. And since I also have the, the Dunkin', the uh, the donut there, you know, I had to go, go check out my friends at Dunkin'. And, um, you know, I got this weird drink. Uh, I, I forget what it was, but uh, it definitely caffeinated me. And I remember walking, walking around. I, I I actually bought a donut, too, and <laughs> just so you guys know. And I went. Where did I go? Oh, I went to the park. I went to the park. I chilled out at the park. Um, met my love of my life, and then uh, she left. Um, after that, we made we made some pretty serious eye contact with our masks on, and I thought it was like uh, I thought it was destiny, but it was not destiny. Um, so. <clears throat> we just went along with our days but i sat next to this one guy uh in the park you know i didn't really think anything of it and uh you know there were some people playing jazz and i was just sitting there relaxing eating my dunkin donuts and then all of a sudden this bird poops on me on my head something just like what and this guy this guy the guy across from me just like looks at me like i like this happens every day and this this guy so and then I'm, i just like look at him a little bit strange because he's just like he, he just like he doesn't care so maybe that's that's what new york is really like but uh yeah so i went there and then i went to the um the the monument this monument and uh you know it's pretty pretty iconic going there and i tried searching around for a couple different parks uh, I also was told to go to Soho, Soho for cool pictures and what I also wanted to do during this time, which I wanted to do in every city, but uh, nobody was available. Uh, and it was still kind of that weird stage of the pandemic where you don't know if you want to go out or not. Uh, so so I didn't uh, hit up any models, but uh, Soho, went to Soho, Soho. It's pretty cool, except for this one thing. This one thing. 
so so in Soho, I took some pictures. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, there are a lot of cool different shops and stuff that you can go to. I didn't go into any because I was on a strict timeline, uh, strict mission to uh, get some pictures and uh, go on this helicopter, which I'll mention later on. If you haven't seen the other video, you you, you got to check out the other video. Um, so I'm walking in Soho, you know, minding my own business, kind of taking pictures of people, uh, some street photography, you know, nothing, nothing too weird. But um, this this man, this man pulls up on his like uh like it wasn't a range rover it was some type of suv but it was like it was pretty big this man pulls over and he hands me a ring okay uh a golden ring and you know i'm just like what what what's going on and he says here take this buy some money go 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 buy uh, take this and go buy some food that's what he said and his wife's in the front seat and his like kids in the back seat and he's like begging me to take this and you know that like at that moment i was like what there this what this must be a joke or something um and you know looking back i was like i, I could have been a millionaire i could have been a millionaire today uh if i would have taken that golden ring but uh in the moment you know i was thinking about it i was looking at him and he's like he's got like this hand he is reaching over his wife with the golden ring and i'm just like all right all right that's a little weird so and i was like okay well i don't want to go on some super adventure to get out of new york with this ring while somebody's like trying to find it like you know one of those superhero movies where like somebody gets like a random bag and then and then somebody comes looking for it. I didn't want that to happen to me because I was just trying to take some pictures and trying to get on a helicopter and just visiting New York. Like, I, I didn't want all that. I already had a really long week. <laughs> so I was like, all right, nope, nope. Uh, we're not, we're not going to take the golden ring. Um, so I didn't, I didn't take the golden ring. Um, and it that that that's the end of the story but that, what what would you guys do in that situation would you take the golden ring if it involved going on this super big long adventure trying to get out of new york by train <laughs> um i don't know it, it actually could have been interesting you know having the golden ring like in my pocket on the helicopter and then like 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 another helicopter comes up or shows up and then it's like i want the ring back and then like there's like this whole like thing like movie that i mean i now that i think about it that could have been a cool cool uh cool thing but i guess not so after that little incident uh i went on to the 911 uh memorial oculus i took some videos lots of videos in there uh i knew i definitely wanted to see that i always have wanted to see that uh and it was pretty cool you know i couldn't uh I couldn't really find my way through it, but it was fine. Uh, and there were a lot of like police people looking at me, uh, and I didn't know if it was okay to take photos, but I, I did it anyways, and I kind of searched the website. After that as well, I wanted to go to Wall Street, and I checked out Wall Street. Uh, there wasn't much going on, you know, pandemic and stuff, uh, but there was enough people and stuff. And then I finally made my way to the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, which is, I wanted to go all the way to Dumbo, uh, but... That was super far. I could have went on a scooter, but, you know, uh, I was pretty strained on time. So after I made a attempt to go to Dumbo, uh, I decided that it wasn't possible. So what I did is I took a bike. And that was probably the funnest thing because I, I like the bikes. Uh, the, I like the bikes in uh, Seattle and I like the bikes in New York because they were electric. And um, they're really cool. So i took that along the hudson river and that was probably one of the best things because i saw so many people also biking and so many runners and it was just like a lot of people were actually active like i thought all new yorkers just like sat around like that's literally i didn't think there was like any recreation type stuff so uh that was pretty cool and then i finally made my way to jersey city and i actually had to take a uber because there was a uh there was a bridge that I had to go over, and that Uber was super expensive, because uh, I had to pay the tolls for that, and then I had to pay the gas, and New York, it was not cheap, um, which was, yeah, that was definitely a bummer to me, 
um, but it was for the for the helicopter ride, so I guess it was worth it. And so I went. I got to the airport uh, probably like an hour hour early, and you know I was originally planning for like the thirty minute uh, tour ride, but then the guy came over. He was like, "All right, we'll discount you the uh, the other ride." So I get so I get dropped off, and so I get dropped off at the airport, and the uh, the people strap me in. They strap me up, and we take a van over to the helicopter takeoff point. And the uh, the pilot comes out and he asked me if I want to go in the cockpit. He asked me specific specifically because uh, there were another couple and another guy and they were they all wanted to go out for this hour ride. And I got the cockpit, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I actually wore the wrong attire for this. I kind of just like woke up and uh, went 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 with the day. And it was also pretty hot, so uh, I was wearing shorts and you know. You know, so if you've seen the New York video, you can go check that out. But I'm not going to explain what I saw because it's all in that video, basically. But uh, it wasn't really that scary or adrenaline rushing. Um, it's kind of weird for me to say that. But uh, <clears throat> I played GTA, so GTA is pretty much uh, the equivalent of, uh, you know, <laughs> um, operating a helicopter. Uh so after that, so after that, after that video, they dropped me off and, you know, I didn't really know what else to do. So I kind of just uh, walked back to, uh, tried walking back. I could have got an Uber. Uber would have been so much easier, but I walked about, I don't know, uh, like five, four miles or something um, to the edge of Jersey City where you can see the Hudson River. And, and that and that took a while but uh during that time i also called for my next train which was in north carolina which was to north carolina and that was pretty cool because you could just call their number and then you could literally i i was just walking and saying where i wanted to go next and it was like this robot that did it which was super cool and it was just like any time of the day you could do that so uh that's what i did walking back and then i was leaving for with that train tomorrow morning uh, and I thought I actually had, um, I thought that was actually in the, at night, but it was actually like 9, 9 a.m., 8 a.m. or something. Maybe it was 6 a.m., 7, I don't know. I don't know, it was something really early in the morning. It might have been like 6 a.m. Um, so after that, I got an Uber because I knew I needed to go to sleep um, so I could wake up tomorrow and head out. And that's what I did. I went back to, back with an Uber. Um got dropped off and got some food and ate some food and just went to sleep after that you know um and the next morning the next morning so the last morning i was in new york i kind of really didn't really do much um because there wasn't really that much a morning so i woke up i uh, got some oatmeal ate some food and then ran out to penn station and tried to find my train uh, usually most times I have no idea where I'm going in the morning, you know, just somehow get there. So I have my suitcase, my two bags, and, uh, I went off to my next adventure. So that was basically my time in New York. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, definitely would like to go back a lot, like to do a lot more. There was a lot more that I, I want to do. There's a lot more that I want to do. Uh, not so much what I wanted to do during that particular trip because I was already doing so much um and I was still I was still on a budget so uh yeah that was my uh travel to New York hopefully you guys enjoyed that hopefully it's a little bit different than all the photography content that I've been bringing out uh that will return on Thursday and if not sooner Thursday Thursday most likely uh I don't want to like push out content that's not uh not reviewed and not uh you know like good uh so so yeah i will talk to you guys in the next video don't forget to comment down below uh if you would have taken the ring and gone on a long adventure uh i don't know it may have been more exciting to do that than i don't know maybe maybe i would have been maybe there was like a part two or something in that that uh movie that i would have been in right now but 
uh, that that didn't happen so if you would have done that uh, let me know in the comments and uh, hopefully you guys have a great what day is it Wednesday Tuesday Tuesday or Wednesday because uh, this is gonna be a late upload but see you guys later